Any discussion of board and governance issues in recent years leads to environmental, social, and governance, ESG, issues. A Google search on the term ESG turned up over 51 million hits, and you could make a full-time job out of reading all the various briefings, updates, and manifestos out there on the topic. Funds, analysts, and asset managers, they're all making big moves into the ESG sphere. Like most buzz terms, ESG builds a lot of shared assumptions into a small package. There are concerns on the environment, sustainability, social responsibility, stakeholders, long-term investing, diversity, many other values all bundled into three little letters. And in boardrooms today, particularly at big global public companies, ESG matters always seem to come up on the agenda. But if we dig into the various ESG proposals, it often raises more questions that go unanswered. The first is that the E and S aspects, environmental and social, are very well covered with specific issues. Supply chains, resource extraction, global warming, data privacy, and pay ratios are a few of the proxy topics facing individual companies. But when we come to the G, governance aspects, matters get a bit hazy. Most G-related activism focuses on board diversity, largely how male and pale most big company boards are. This has been a powerful activism effort in recent years, and it's paying off. In July, the final U.S. S&P 500 company without a woman board member finally relented. But this G topic works more like an S, social goal. Other G items on the shopping list include annual voting for all directors or other activist firewall issues. Most often these have less to do with improving company governance than with advancing a specific activist's agenda, though. What if the G governance aspects would her focus instead on improving a company's actual boardroom mechanics, things like number of board and committee meetings, director attendance, quality of board materials, board leadership, and effective evaluation? ESG is a hot topic, no doubt, but until the G element is more than just a means to social or activist ends, it'll never be fully effective. I'm Ralph Ward from the boardroom for August.